to film the most beautiful sexy eyes you can ever imagine. They are perfect for Halloween if you don't want to do the whole blood and guts thing. Um, great for going out clubbing and beautiful for any kind of special occasion. They are actually electric blue. They're from a palette by MAC which is called Style Influencer. Here it is and you can see that blue there is in the middle. That's the one that we're going to use. And we have um, three quarter eyelashes just at the ends here, which have got ta uh, topaz rhinestones, um, a nice bronze look to the cheeks. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to press the little button up there, subscribe. Okay, the most important thing about um, eye makeup and making it right and making it stay, etc., is to prep your eyes. So I'm just using some of this. This is SK2 um, facial treatment. Only a little tiny bit because it is a toner. So any toner that you can get, Garnier, do a good one, anything like that. And just try and just wipe all the excess oil off your skin. Let it dry a little bit. And then you're ready to put some translucent powder on. So I'm just using something like this. Tap, tap, because there is a lot of it. And just pat it on so that under your eyes, up top of your eyes, you can do this before you do your concealer or after, doesn't really matter, I'm doing it before. Then I'm going to use some of this, this is MAC Prep and Prime and it's in medium and just going to dot it all over under my eyes, we all make that face don't we when we open, when we do it at the bottom of our eyes, this look, <laughs> this fishy face. There we go, so just dot it all underneath. Now I've done a little bit of research with the whole concealer thing, especially under the eyes because I get really dark circles and this has been the best way to cover them up. Now I'm using this next. So we've got our primer on, we've got our translucent powder. This is Ellie Fuss. Um, I'd never heard of it before, but you can get it at Mecca and I'm pretty sure you can get it at David Jones. It's in one of those cool stick things that um, Terry does as well and just pat a little bit of that underneath making sure that you actually just go down to this line here if you imagine a line just um, below your eye socket because you don't want to look like you've got um, a reverse concealer where your concealer your under eye area is a little bit um, lighter uh, than the rest of your skin so make sure that you go all the way down it also stops you looking um, sunken here you can get a bit of a shadow otherwise so just patting all over, particularly good on your eyelid if you've got kind of a um, uneven surface. And if you feel like it, just a little bit more, just use whatever you have on your brush, um, translucent powder, just to set that all. And now it's on to eyes. Your eyes are perfectly prepped. There's no oil on them and they're ready. All right, we will get quite a bit of fallout for this. You can do a couple of things. You can get a um, tissue and or a cotton wipe and just put it underneath here while you're using your um, pigment or whatever you want to use um, on both eyes. Or you can get a bit of translucent powder and pack on quite a bit and then just use a big fluffy brush to wipe it all. Now, we're all prepped and it's ready for our awesome eye color. I'm gonna use a color like this. This one's by Chanel. It's really a very, very basic, sort of iridescent pink shell color. It is, all right, essential, blah, 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 number 76, Liberty. So just putting that all over the eye, all the way up to the eyebrow. And this is going to be our base and highlight color. So all the way up, quite liberal, nice and sloppy, it doesn't really matter. This is just quite a thick, um, a densely bristled brush and I'm just getting any old bog standard um, black eyeshadow that you can find. This is just a L'Oreal one and I'm patting it all over my eye, all the way over. And it will look like you've got a black eye, but don't worry, we will amend that. This is going to give you the most fabulous color payoff when you put the blue over it. So just patting on that black, don't forget to tap off. You want to minimize as much excess as, you know, excess fallout as possible. 
So just all the way around. Now you can use um, a little bit more in the inside of your eye here, just where your, where your pupil lines up and make your eyes rounder, or you can put it a little bit more at the ends here and sort of arm and shape your eye out, which is what we're going to do today. Your choice. All right, so we've got all of that black eyeshadow applied. Just clean the same thick, dense brush, and we're going to use this palette by MAC. This is called Style Influencer, and I'll show you the blue that we're going to use. It's this amazing iridescent midnight blue. Can you see that? It's not black, it's not black, it's blue, and it is absolutely beautiful. So, using that same brush, pack it all on. Now, this falls out like crazy. So don't worry about it, we'll fix it up later. And just tap that really gently all over that black eye, um, that black eyeshadow that we've already put on. So you can really see the blue. Now you can obviously just do the blue if you want. Look, we got some fallout already. But putting the black underneath really intensifies this look and makes it really, really cool. Again, just tap, 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 all the way, no gaps, all the way to your lash line. Bring it out a little bit at the end here to create that almond shape on both sides. And there you go. And now it's time to get a fluffy brush and move in tiny little circles and just blend that into the base color, which we already applied and make sure there's no harsh light. Make, um, a nice little fluffy brush that we used to put on the translucent powder. Just sweep it over that powder that we had on before and look, all the fallout disappears. It's magic. I'm using a Maybelline one. It's called Black and Sapphire and I actually think it's got a nicer color. The smaller color is sort of a bluey gray and I, I don't know. I don't think it's a true black and doesn't really go with this look. So let's use this little bit of a lighter trick and then lining under our eyes this really makes so there you go all the way under now if you want to you can add a little bit on top you probably don't need to because that art eye, that eyeshadow is pretty cool it's pretty thick now if you don't have a blue eyeshadow like that one but you still want to do this look buy this ultra cheap um, maybelline black sapphire pencil Put a bit of black eyeshadow on and then just smear this all over. You can even just use this by, your, by itself. It won't give quite as good payoff. But again, just paint it all over and then use a um, highlight color just with a fluffy brush and just soften the eye, uh, soften the lines of it. So there you go. You got a few different options for this look on how you want to do it. Okay, again, just bring you a little bit out on the edges there. And we're going to get a little bit more of that Style Influencer Blue, tapping it off with a little, a little fine, sort of slightly rounded brush. And you can use a Q-tip for this if you'd like. Don't use your fingers, they're just not subtle enough. And just pull it under your eyes. Now we are going to use the most beautiful false eyelashes with this that I just popped down to the chemist and got today. And they have like a topazy type sparkle on them and they're absolutely gorgeous. Let me show them to you. Here they are. So there they are still in the pack, but you can see the little sparkles there. And the topazy, you know, the brown topazy type of sparkle. Sorry about the nails there, really. I did them at 3 a.m. and I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, we're going to put those on next and complete this look. And you will see how rock So you've curled your lashes and you've applied your beautiful quarter... Um, eyelash eyelashes with the sapphire rhinestones which are a thousand hour they're called the brand you can just pick them up at most chemists and then just applying a little bit of um, benefits bad girl lash in black to just bring the lashes together I can see my lash glue hasn't quite dried yet now one day I'm going to make a million dollars by getting a lash, finding a recipe for a lash glue 
that is better than duo because I really, really don't like it or duo, however you want to pronounce it. I don't like it. And one day I'm going to get a better formula for it. Anyway, just painting up those lashes so that they fit in with our falsies. And there you go. Now, makeup wise, for the rest of the face, you've got, you want to keep it really, really, really neutral. So just your normal foundation, whatever foundation you like to use. Don't use a foundation with an SPF in it because the SPF will, um, has light reflectors in it and when you get photographed at night, they will make your face look really ghostly. Now all I've done is a little bit of contouring and um, a bit of Laguna bronzer all over the cheekbones, kind of blushing out from here and sweeping. And just to finish off this look with our beautiful blue eyes, I'm going to use some of this. This is Lipstick Queen and it's called Shine and it's black lip gloss, but it is just the coolest thing in the whole world. I actually made my friend go out and buy it when I was in hospital, just about to have a baby. And I saw it in the magazine, knew that it was available. And I got it from Kit Cosmetics. So there you go. Today we are going to film the most beautiful sexy eyes you can ever imagine. They are perfect for Halloween if you don't want to do the whole blood and guts thing. Um, great for going out clubbing and beautiful for any kind of special occasion. They are actually electric blue. They're from a palette by MAC which is called Style Influencer. Here it is and you can see that blue there is in the middle. That's the one that we're going to use. And we have um, three quarter eyelashes just at the ends here, which have got ta uh, topaz rhinestones, um, a nice bronze look to the cheeks, and believe it or not, a black lipstick queen, um, a bit of a bronze look all over the face, um, but it's the eyes that are really stealing the show. I hope you enjoy and happy watching.